Hey everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am going to be making a beachy themed um, candle holder. I wanted to put it out where I did my pictures the other day with the seashells, so I wanted to do something else with shells um, to put on my shelf. I really don't have any nautical or beach themed uh, items in my house. I don't know why, but this year I decided I really want to do that. So I picked up one of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're not real pretty, but it is the perfect size that I want to use. And I'm going to be painting this white. And then you're going to need some sand. This is leftover sand. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. I picked the white sand. You can use whatever color you want. And of course, you're going to need a candle. And these you can get at the Dollar Tree in a pack. They're four for a dollar. So that's a good deal. And then shells. I just have a bunch of leftover shells from all different projects that I did. So this is kind of a mixture. Um, I have some starfish in here and all kinds of things. And some leftover ones that I got at Michael's last week. But you can get a lot of shells and things at the Dollar Tree too. They have bags and bags of shells right now. And then of course you're going to need some hot glue. And then I picked up the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using that to you know, embellish on this a little bit. I thought that would look great for our nautical theme. And then I'm not sure, I have this, um, it's like a burlap ribbon. Actually it's jute ribbon it says. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use this yet to put around the globe, but we'll see when we get done. I may just want to leave it the way it is with the sand and the shells. So we shall see. So let me go ahead and get this painted up and then we will come back and work on our candle holder. Okay, I have it all painted white. I went ahead to save a little time and I did glue the um, nautical rope. I glued a piece around the bottom and one piece around the middle and then just one up around the top. Now these things have lots of little dings in them and things and I think that's going to be perfect for this project, but I don't even know what else I would use one of these candle holders for unless you can find one that's like in really, really good shape. But anyway, I got that done. So now I'm going to take, I picked out five of these shells that I'm going to put around the bottom. And hopefully I have them in the right order that I, nope, I switched them around. So I want to put this real, real pretty, pretty one that I have here. I want to put this one right in the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them down right to the rope. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these all the way around. I just love shells. I don't know why I don't have any beachy themed things. I used to spend a lot of time down at the shore. And yes, that is what we say. If you grew up in New Jersey, whenever you were going to the shore, it was always down the shore, even though it was east. I don't know why, but that's just the way it's always been set around here. So, I used to have a bunch of shells that I had picked up, but of course, you know, I don't know where they are over time. So there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue the rest of these around the bottom. Alright, so now I'm just going to take a few of these smaller shells, and they're a little bit of a different color, and I'm going to put these on just the opposite way to fill in over the, you know, where they separate. So I'm just going to put a few of these around the bottom. And you can just play around with whatever shells you have. And see where you want to put them. And I thought I would take one of these pretty shells that I have here and kind of put that on top. Not just like that. And you can see on the top here, it's so humid out today that the paint is just not drying, and it's been that way for a while now as I've been trying to get things done here. It just doesn't want to give me a break, but that's okay. Yeah, 
here. All right, now I just want to find a few more of the prettier shells. And then I'm just going to, I don't think I get this one on here a little bit better. There we go. Wait till that cools a second. All right. So now I'm just going to go and pick out a few more of these really cute shells. And I'm going to, you know, glue a couple more of those around the, the top. Okay, there we have it. That's the ones that I'm going to keep on here now. I think that looks really cute. I'll have to pick off some of my glue webs later. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. And then I don't think I mentioned any one of these globe candle holders. They have two different sizes of the Dollar Tree. This is a little bit bigger one, but they have a small one and then they have one that's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use the bigger one here. And then I'm going to take my sand. Pour some sand in here. I'm not sure. I might pour it all in here. Let's see. And that's not quite a full bag because I've already used some of it. So there. So this is the easy part. This is just the fun part. You just stick your candle in here in the center and then place your shells around how you want them. And I have found some really pretty ones in that bag that came from Michael's. That's a lot, a lot of pretty shells. So I'm going to go ahead and place some of those in here. And you can, you know, wiggle it down in the sand a little bit. Let's see what else we have here. We have a little, I'm going to stick a little starfish in here. This is a broken one, so I'll stick him down in the sand. That's cute. I have a couple more starfish. I think I'll put a couple more starfish down in here. And I don't know if anybody else has worked with these little starfish, but when I first opened the package, they don't smell anymore, but oh my gosh, they really stunk. They were very, very fishy smelling. But that went away, thank goodness, so they really don't smell anymore, but a lot of them were broken. I figured that'd be great for this project, just to have them sticking up out of the sand. Now let's see. Oh, this is a cool shell. Get him over here. Yeah, I was surprised how pretty some of these shells were that were in the bag. I mainly got them because it had a giant starfish in there that I used for the pictures that I did and um, that was the main reason I got the bag. I was just very pleasantly surprised on how pretty the shells were that were in there. Oh, let's see. I think I want this colorful one here. Just trying to get the big and pretty ones placed, you know, where they look nice and then I can just add in a bunch of the uh, the little shells here and there. Yeah, I like that. That's so cute. I don't know how I got glue web in there because I didn't glue anything in here. Okay. So now I'm just going to take some of the smaller shells and just place them around in here. want a lot, a lot of shells in here. A lot, a lot. All right, let's put one of these darker ones in here. Now that one's kind of ugly. There we go. Let's see if I can get that to go behind here. All right, and then I'm just going to stick some of these little shells in. These you can get so many of. A lot of these, a lot of them were like these that, you know, I got at the Dollar Tree. They were just these small shells. But they look just as pretty. I figured they would be great just to fill in spots. I 
Oh my goodness. The dog's outside barking like a maniac. There's a guy across the street. Actually, it's a company I did not even know existed that comes around in one of those little smart cars. I can't remember the name of it um, offhand, but um, they come and they detail your car right in your driveway. I thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen them before. The car's adorable. The guy that was in the car, I don't even know how he got in it. He was a very tall man, and I just kind of giggled when he got out of the car. It was kind of like a clown car. <laughs> he was just a really tall guy getting out of this little bitty smart car. All right, let's see. All right, I think that's good enough for right now. I might add a few more. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe another one in here. There we go. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave that be for right now. So now the only thing I have left to do is glue it on top. And then I'll show you what I was going to do with this um, ribbon. I'm not sure if I want it on here yet or not. So, for this project, since this is like a, um, it's like a plaster mold, I really didn't know how. I just made a fingerprint on here. I'm telling you, it's so humid, it's not drying. That's okay. I'm gonna fix that later. But anyway. I'm going to use hot glue. So I don't know if it would even be worth using like E6000 on the plaster. I don't know if it would hold it down enough, but this is going to be fine. It's not like, <clears throat> you know, you're going to be moving around your candle holder constantly. So I'm just going to put a lot of hot glue in there. I'm going to make sure I have my front. And then just set this right on top. And it fits perfectly down in there. And that is it for my candle holder. Oh, this is what I was going to do. I don't, I don't think I want to because I have this up here. And I was going to add this ribbon, but I think that's just, yeah, that's not going to work. So we're just going to put that away for another project. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me go clean up this mess here, and we'll light up our candle here and see how it looks all put together. All right, everybody, here it is, all finished. I got the candle lit up in there, really pretty. It really makes the um, shelves and things look so nice lit up. I absolutely love this. I think this will be great in the evenings, you know, if you want it outside. Of course, under cover, you wouldn't want to leave it out in the weather. But, and there is our bottom. I can't believe I got this all dirty already. I just put this on here today. But anyway, and there's the bottom of all our shelves. And I absolutely love this. I am very, very happy the way it turned out. And uh, once I get all of my nautical stuff done, beachy theme, whatever you want to call it, um, I'll give you a tour of my shelf one day once we get our projects all finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this came out really cute. It's really simple, really easy. You just got to glue a bunch of shells onto a thing and throw some pretty ones in the top, and you have a beautiful candle holder. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.